I'm here today to sign our new defense bill into law and to pay tribute to the greatest soldiers in the history of the world, the United States Army. Thank you. Thank you. The National Defense Authorization Act is the most significant investment in our military and our warfighters in modern history. And I am very proud to be a big, big part of it. It was not very hard. You know, I went to Congress. I said, let's do it. We got to do it. We're going to strengthen our military like never, ever before. And that's what we did. I want to say very strongly, there is no better place than right here at Fort Drum to celebrate its passage. No better place. After years of devastating cuts, we're now rebuilding our military like we never have before, ever. Because we know that to survive and having that survival of our freedom, it depends upon the might of our military. And no enemy on Earth can match the strength, courage, and skill of the American Army and the American Armed Forces. Nobody's even close. They never will be. Thank you all for fighting for our military and for fighting for our vets. Uh, nobody has made more progress on anything than what we've done with our vets. We have choice approved. You know that. We have so many other things approved for our vets, and it's really moving along well. I think maybe almost as important as choice is accountability. Now, when we find somebody not treating our vets properly, you know what we say, right? You're out. Get out. You're fired. Get out. <laughs> they couldn't do that. They couldn't do that. Now they can do it. Now they have to treat our vets properly. Our vets are our great people, and they get treated properly. So you have choice and you have accountability, and nobody thought that would ever get approved. They've been trying for many, many decades. Last year, we secured a historic $700 billion to rebuild our military. And now, the National Defense Authorization Act paves the way for another 1,700 — listen to this now. So we've been trying to get money. They never gave us money for the military for years and years, and it was depleted. We got $700 billion. And next year, already approved, we have $716 billion to give you the finest planes and ships and tanks and missiles anywhere on Earth. Nobody makes them like we do. And very, very far distant in this case. Jobs are very important in all cases. But in this case, military might is more important than even jobs. But all of this equipment is made right here in the USA, and it's the best equipment on Earth. Nobody makes it like we do. So you have $700 billion and now $716 billion. So congratulations. America is a peaceful nation. But if conflict is forced upon us, we will fight and we will win. Right, General? Right? Right? Better believe it, Generals. They are the guys. We're powered by the unstoppable force of the United States Army. Very special. With this new authorization, we will increase the size and strength of our military by adding thousands of new recruits to active duty, reserve, and National Guard units, including 4,000 new active duty soldiers. And we will replace aging tanks, aging planes and ships with the most advanced and lethal technology ever developed. And hopefully, we'll be so strong, we'll never have to use it. But if we ever did, nobody has a chance. It all includes 135 brand new, beautiful M1 Abrams tanks. 60 Bradley fighting vehicles, and over 3,000 joint light tactical vehicles for the Army Armored Brigade combat team. New Black Hawk and Apache helicopters, finest in the world for the Army National Guard. 77 F-35 
Joint strike fighters, you know, that's stealth. I talked to a couple of pilots, great pilots. I said, how are they? They said, they're hard to beat because you can't see them. It's always hard to beat the enemy when you can't see it. The greatest in the world. Full funding for the B-21 Raider Bomber Program, 13 new Battle Force ships and support ships, including a fourth Ford-class aircraft carrier and three additional lateral combat ships. Funding to modernize our nuclear arsenal is so important. We're doing a major upgrade of our missile defense, but we're spending a tremendous amount of money on our nuclear arsenal. Nobody will have close. We will hopefully never, ever have to use it. Thank you again for the incredible men and women of Fort Drum. Special, special, great people. God bless our troops, and God bless the United States of America. I'd now like to invite a few of our fantastic soldiers from the 10th Mountain Division, 2nd Brigade Combat Team, to join me on stage to sign the National Defense Authorization Act. It's been an honor to be with you today. Thank you all very much. Thank you. That's good, right? There you go, Tom, right? Come here. You step on the line, okay? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>